We're getting pretty good at these uh, methods now for iterators and uh, with closures. So uh, we've got these ones left, and I think in one video we can uh, we can learn these ones because they they seem pretty. Uh, they'll be very uh, familiar to you. Like you've seen take, you've seen skip before, and you know while uh, we we know how while works. <clears throat> these two are easy, and this is easy too. And then uh, probably these uh, last two will be in the next video. So um. Uh, you'll remember, uh, let's see, my vec equals, uh, you know, if you want to do a, uh, a take and a, and a skip, so if you have like a zero, a range of uh, zero to 10, and then you say, uh, you know, skip two, and then you go take, and uh, take the next five, and uh, collect that into a vec of whatever, Rust will do it for us, then, you know, that is how uh, skip and take works. So uh, let's just make sure we know that. And this time I remembered to comment out first. There you go. So two, three, four, five, six. So we already know that. Now the next thing is, uh, let's say skip while. So while of course is going to be a little bit more complicated. So while, you know, while wet. Okay, well we're getting a, uh, you know, a um, this thing that we call X and we're also going to do take while at the same time. So what are we going to do? We will skip while x uh, is less than 2. So let's imagine we have uh, this 0 to 10. We can't change this, but we don't want 0 and we, you know, we don't want uh, 1. So we will skip as long as this happens. And then we also don't want up to 10. We want to take while um, well, x is uh, I don't know, less than 8. So uh, we put these uh, Know these uh, conditions on, and then it'll take the same uh, same range, and then you know it uh, skips these depending on the condition, and takes these depending on the condition. So that is uh, pretty easy, I think. Uh, the next is uh, cloned, and cloned is just if you have a uh, you know a reference to something, and you would like to change it to uh, something, and um, it's uh, you know you're in the middle of an iterator um, so it's you know basically like clone except for you're in the middle of an iterator and you know you just uh, you just do this and um, I think the the example in the uh, in the standard library is uh, easy enough uh, and it also shows us the um, let's see oh wait that that was by ref we'll look at that uh, next time but um, so there you go. You can see uh, cloned. Um, so you start out with uh, you know a reference to T, and uh, it, you just do this. Uh, you put this cloned inside here, and it it turns it into a T. And so you can see um, here they have this uh, this vec uh, a equals three. I'm going to put it inside uh, here because we like uh, staying in our own screen. And so you can see uh, you have. Um, you know, vec cloned, uh, so it's an iter, um, like that, and then uh, you clone it to uh, to get the type instead of a reference, and then um, so yeah, here's the uh, here's the thing that um, that explains it best. So it's uh, it's exactly the same as map, where you take the reference and instead of um, you know map, you uh, you do something to every item, and you know you usually we see like you know x plus six or you know uh, you know, add something or do some change, and here it's doing a change by taking the uh, the reference in and just giving the uh, the actual uh, the actual item. So that is what clones does. Um, and then by ref. So that is if you want a uh, a reference. And this is um this happens when you um this is useful when you're you're making an iterator and um. And then you you use it up, you know, you're 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 using it to make something, and then uh, you actually want to reference or print out the iterator again, and it doesn't because we we used it up, and so uh, you can see it in this uh, this fold method. Uh, that's why I wanted to show show this example because we just learned fold, and you know it's got the um this is what we're used to uh, with the uh, you know adding things together. You start out with uh, zero and then uh, you know you take in the, the, the item the accumulator 
and then uh, the, the other item and you add them together for each item through the list and you know it'll do that uh, and give you a, a six at the end because you know one plus two plus three equals six and then um, but then if you try to uh, try to use it again then uh, it, it can't because uh, it used you know it it, uh, it takes it by value it moved it in it doesn't own its value anymore and so uh, the way you do that is you just uh, put in this little by ref and then you can uh, you can use it a second time so there you go the the iterator is still alive and um, you know even though you've used it to fold you uh, you put in this uh, this by ref to uh, to keep it keep it alive and then you can use it after so that is by ref and then sum is uh, <clears throat> It's uh, it just sums everything together. So, you know, when when we looked at fold, you might be thinking, uh, oh, you know, geez, I have to remember all this x, y, and then you know, x plus y. So yeah, you can do that when you're when you're adding things together. But uh, fortunately, we also have sum and sum. The only thing to uh, to remember with sum is uh, you want to make sure that you tell the type. So let's uh, because when you get to math. Uh, math functions in rust it um it it doesn't want to, to try to like guess at uh, what kind of type you're trying to get it to add or you know um, subtract or whatever and so uh you know, just remember that but the, the compiler will tell you anyway so let's uh i don't know zero two hundred we just do that and then we we say sum and then you know this by itself is already an iterator and then uh it's going to say <clears throat> you know what type is this and you can say, uh, hey, I don't know what type you want me to sum this into. And so here's the, uh, you know, the turbo fish that we're used to. So we'll just say, okay, please, uh, please give me the sum of this as an I32. And there you go. So that's, um, it's a, that's an easy way to, uh, to sum things together. And of course, ranges are iterators. So uh, this is the same as... Uh, you know, you can do like a vec of uh, 8, 9, 10, uh, dot uh, iter, dot sum, and that should be uh, the same thing. And there you go, see? So summing is, uh, is very easy as well. And thankfully, you don't have to use uh, fold all the time. You can just uh, just use sum.